If you go down Queen Street, you'll run into three of the best restaurants, Pugin's Ports, Husk, and 82 Queen. Pugin's Ports General Manager Travis McMaster describes the food at his downtown Charleston restaurant as traditional southern fare with a southern flair. Others might Good describe it as just... modern low country cuisine, comfort food with a twist, or any number of other clever substitutions for, wow, that was good. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna take the fried alligator, toss it in with this. The Destination Guide's best dining in Charleston, Pugin's Porch is uniquely delicious and quirky. For starters, it's named after a stray. Got the name from an old scruffy dog that was left behind by the previous owners who uh, was here until 79 when he died. The restaurant remains open for dinner every night of the year except one, Super Bowl Sunday. And like most historic structures in these parts, Pugin's porch houses a resident ghost. Right, we like to have fun here. Tasting, baby. How you doing? Um, staff's great. Um, everybody's always smiling and, and having a good time. It's very, very traditional Southern as far as the atmosphere. Located on peaceful Queen Street, Pugin's food is every bit as Southern as its setting. The man in charge of the kitchen is executive chef Daniel Doyle, a North Carolina native who puts the flair in the fair. What we're going to make here is going to be a um, pan seared mahi with a tomato ham hock broth with pulled pork raviolis with collard greens and a, a real simple cream corn. We're going to let it get nice and hot on each side. What I have going on back here, red wine, tomato, ham hock, rosemary, stewed down for about two to three hours, and, and then we puree it. Classic Italian style sauce, but done with southern flares and flavors and things like that. We're going to let it sear for about you know three to four minutes on each side. We're going to baste for another two or three minutes till it's a good medium well consistency. You know, nice and cooked, but yet still a little bit of, still a little pink in the middle. Thank you, baby. Thank you. What I have going here is just a real simple cream corn. You know, just cream, fresh corn, salt, pepper. We start with the ham hock sauce. We just put it right here in the middle of the plate. Kind of, kind of swirl it around a little bit. I'm gonna take um, fresh. John's all in collard greens, classic southern way, right over top of this collard green. Right over top of there, just like that, right on top of the collard. And then we're going to take that seared fish, we're going to put it right on top of there. That quick made cream corn, just right over top of that. A couple spoonfuls. Here we have um, seared mahi with pulled pork raviolis, tomato ham hock broth stewed collard greens with a quick cream corn. The ambiance is excellent and the food is some of the best in Charleston, if not the best. After more than 30 years, Pugin's Porch has become a local ritual for many, but it's also become favorite among celebrities. Maybe because it's never lost that traditional flair for Southern fare. Oh, I love it. I love it because it's like being at home. I mean, it's down. I'm a southerner and this is southern and these are the best biscuits in all of Charleston. The fried chicken is the best in Charleston <laughs> and it's, it's just like my grandmother used to make. I, I just naturally gravitate here because it feels like home.